If you want to become a lawyer, dress up like this every day, and fight for justice, then you're probably majoring in something like history or English. But those aren't the best degrees because if you don't go to law school, then your options are really limited. So let's talk about majors that prepare you for law school, but will also give you a great career without it. Hey everyone, my name is Hasham Khan and welcome to Income Over Outcome, where I give you college and personal finance tips. A common misconception is that degrees like history, English, and poli-sci are the best to get into law school. But experts say traditional pre-law degrees actually don't give you an upper hand, and sometimes they might actually work against you because there's so many people applying from the same exact background. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. The truth is law schools don't care much for your major. All they really want is for you to be a well-rounded student that has strong critical reading, analytical, and logical reasoning skills. And they use the LSAT to test if you have those. The LSAT is scored on a really tiny scale from 120 to 180. The average person gets a 150, but if you want to go to a top 25 law school, then you usually need around a 160. People who get into the top 10 law schools, like Harvard, usually have above a 170. You're so afraid of getting fooled by a few trick questions that you're letting it mess you up with all the other ones. Look, Rachel, you want to get into Harvard, you need a 170. Okay? If you let a few of these trick questions go, you're going to be fine. But if you keep trying to be perfect and you're going to overthink this whole thing, you're going to end up with a 130. Rachel, nobody gets all the trick questions. One reason people like traditional pre-law degrees is that they prepare you really well for the LSAT. Poli-sci majors average a 153, history majors average a 156, and English majors average a 155. And those are really good scores. But every year, 40% of people who apply to law schools don't get into any. And there's a ton of people who go for these degrees, but then later on in college, they realize they don't really want to go to law school. And that's when they get stuck. The problem is these majors really limit your options, and the options you have aren't that high paying. A lot of people who graduate college with these majors and don't go to law school really end up struggling. So it's really important that you have a degree that you could fall back on. The most important thing to understand is that there's not one single pre-law degree that is perfect for law school. You can really get in with anything you want as long as you have a strong passion for law and a good LSAT score. The key is to major in something you enjoy that will give you the skills you need for law school but also keep your options open. And these degrees do exactly that. This first one is probably going to surprise you and that's any STEM degree like computer science, math, or engineering because STEM majors have an insanely high acceptance rate into law school. STEM is great because it helps you stand out from all the poli-sci kids and because you gain all the logical and analytical skills you need for law school. Overall, math majors had an 87% acceptance rate to law school, way higher than the average 60%. That's partly because so few of them apply in the first place, but also because they have one of the highest LSAT scores at an average of 161, which is absolutely wild. What number comes between two and four? Beetlejuice. 25. Wait a minute, Beetlejuice. I want you to think about it. Think about it. Don't blurt out your answer. What number comes between two and four? Two and four. Start from one. Plus, if you decide you don't want to go to law school, then most STEM degrees offer great backup plans that will pay you a lot of money. And I've talked about that in a ton of my other videos, so I won't go into detail in it right now. But if you want to go into law school and you're into some of the technical stuff in the world, then STEM is definitely a great option. But I understand that STEM isn't for everyone. I myself would be absolutely miserable if I had a STEM degree in college. Odds are, if you want to become a lawyer, the thought of getting a STEM degree probably doesn't thrill you that much, but I had to include it because all the stats show it's one of the best paths to law school. Hopefully some of these other degrees are more appealing to you. Next are business degrees. Now these are way more common for law students than STEM degrees, so they're not going to help you stand out as much. But what will really help you is if you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. On the positive side, business degrees are great because they'll prepare you for a bunch of different career paths if you decide you don't want to do law anymore. 
anymore. If you watch my video on the best business degrees, then you know you shouldn't choose something that's really general like business administration. But degrees like management information systems and analytics are really great options because they'll give you all the communications and analytical skills you would need as a lawyer. A lot of business students make seventy or eighty thousand dollars right out of undergrad. Meanwhile, if you had a degree in poli sci or international relations, then you might struggle to find a job. And if you do, you would average around forty thousand dollars. Business majors can also go for jobs in the government and politics, especially if they have the right internships, so they can get the same exact jobs as someone with a traditional pre-law degree. And that's exactly why I recommend it. They have a pretty average shot of getting into law school, with an average LSAT score of 150 and an acceptance rate of 67%. So business is definitely a great degree that will keep your options open. Oh God, it's so good. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm, so good and tasty. Mm, mm. Another really good major is econ. Now this is also a social science like poli sci, but it's arguably more valuable because it actually gives you quantitative and analytical skills. According to the Law School Admission Council, 86% of econ majors who apply to law school get in, and they have an average LSAT score of 159, which is really good. The best part about econ is you can get some really great government jobs and also regular business jobs. Some people who get econ majors and don't go to law school become policy analysts for the government which means they research economic trends and they make around $66,000. Or you could become an economic consultant and they make around $68,000 a year. And of course, you could become an economist who average $102,000. But you'll probably need a master's degree in econ to do that. Econ majors really have a ton of options, but technical skills like analytics and stats are huge if you want to be successful in these jobs. But they also help you with law school, which is why I think econ is one of the best degrees you could get if you want to become a lawyer. One thing you need to do no matter what degree you have is show law schools you have a strong passion for law. And you can do that by joining clubs on campus like Law Review and also getting internships. Now getting internships at an actual law firm while you're an undergrad is possible but it's really tough. But some state and local governments offer undergraduate legal internships and you can also work at actual companies. If you do all these things and you choose one of the degrees from this video, I would say you have a fairly good shot of getting into law school. But remember, these are just a few of the options you have. Just major in something you enjoy that can support the lifestyle you want if you don't end up going to law school. Now if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that notification bell and like button and check out one of these videos. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, take care.